Hey, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Like always, before we do a review, we bring you guys an unboxing. So today we're gonna bring you the unboxing and the unboxing only of the P67A UD7. And hey, for you fools out there who leave comments on my channel saying, oh, everybody knows what's inside the box. Do they know what's inside the box? No, they don't. That's why unboxing videos are so popular and why we keep doing them. So for you guys out there who hate them, I'm not twisting your arm to watch them. Go watch some other video. Maybe some kitty stuff or something. I don't know what you want to watch. But hey, this is the unboxing of the new PixieK7A-UD7 from Gigabyte. Let's check it out. This box is pretty doggone beat up. We actually drove it to CES and back with us before we even had a chance to really mess with the board. So let's take a look at it first. Here is the front of the box. And then the box actually opens up so that you can see the motherboard and, and take a look at some of its features. And I'll show you the back of the box. Just a few people who like to see everything. There's the back of the box. Now I'll begin to unbox it. There are two tabs over here that first need to be pulled. So we open these tabs up first. And then the top of the motherboard thing comes out and another box, like usual, slides out. So here's what it looks like inside of the retail box. I'm going to open it up now and begin, and I will start out with the motherboard. So I'm not gonna fully remove the motherboard from the package or anything. I'm just gonna let you guys take a look at it so the cameraman can zoom out. But this is the motherboard. For those of you who wanna see all the features of that, please watch our full video and the full review, which will be coming out this Monday. Today, I'm just showing you unboxing and what comes inside the retail box. So here's the motherboard. I'm gonna move that out of the way now. And I'm gonna get this box out of the way. Here are all the accessories in this box. Removing this box. And now we have the accessories box. I'm going to open that up and go over the accessories with you one by one, okay? So, I'm gonna start out with all of the cables. So I'll remove all the cables from the packaging and begin with those first, and as we go, we'll go along. So, here we take a look at the cables that come in the box. You have a breakaway little thing here. This goes on your rear I.O. It has two eSATA ports and a standard normal Molex power connector. It's kind of trippy, but it's there. We also have a cable for a breakaway box, and then we have one SATA 6 gigabit cable here, and then two of your standard SATA cables here. That's how many cables come in the box. We also get cables for both triple SLI, let me remove these out of the bag here. This is the triple three-way SLI cable. And here is the normal standard SLI cable. The reason that it does not come with crossfire cables is that AMD provides their crossfire cables inside of the box. So if there is you're looking for a complaint, there's nothing to complain about there. Okay, then we have the rear IO shield. Matches up with your motherboard, keeps it nice and protected, keeps the dust off. And then finally after that, we have the user's manual the driver and installation CD that has extra stuff on it as well. Moving along here. We also have the Dolby home theater sticker. If you wanna like put your thing in there and brag about having Dolby, you get a sticker there. And here is also a gigabyte sticker if you'd like to place that on your case or anything else. We also get a multi-installation guidebook and then a 1155 socket 1156 CPU warning. So this is telling you not to install your 1156 CPU into your 1155 socket. Kind of like sticking a square pig into a round hole. So that's everything that comes in the box. For those of you who like us, follow along and we're gonna show you the full review of the new Gigabyte P67A-UD7 this Monday. See you on YouTube.